So earlier in today in practice, you know, I was talking about, you know, why, why be in flow, you know, and what does it mean? Uh, what does it mean to me to be in flow? So when I look at the idea of being in flow, it's to be in harmony with your environment, to be in harmony with nature, to be in harmony with other people. And the reason why being in flow and being in harmony with everything around is so powerful and so important because we're able to not have to constantly control everything around. We're not having to constantly um, try to force things. When we're in harmony with the environment, that means whatever the environment is, we are able to accept it. And if we are in harmony with people, that means the way they are, their personality, you know, the way, the way they act, the way who they are as a person, we are okay with. And, you know, this is very powerful because, you know, I think a lot of times nowadays, people have a hard time being okay with things. Everybody seems to want things their way. They seem to have really strong preferences of how the environment should be, how people should be, how situations should turn out to be. And if it doesn't happen the way that they want it to be, they will either, number one, become emotionally disturbed, emotionally bothered, they will get upset, stressed, they would blame and question. And then afterwards, they will try to go and control and manipulate the environment. And the problem with that is, number one, it's a lot of work to constantly try to change people, convince people, try to, if you're in nature, you want to force nature to do what it is that you want to do. You have to change the environment, change the ground, change the trees, change the everything. It's a lot of effort, it's a lot of time, it's a lot of money to do things like that. But also, when we are controlling things and we are changing things, a lot of times it is not what, it is not what the environment is actually wanting. It's not what people are actually wanting. Nobody really wants to be forced. Nobody wants to be controlled. And when people are wanting to have a certain outcome because they're not in harmony, they're not in flow with things, they find themselves have to constantly change things around. And so when we practice being in harmony, we're able to harmonize. We're able to, to, to not have any resistance to people and environment and everything flows much easier. There's a sense of ease with getting things done. There's a sense of ease in everything that we do because we're not having to constantly change things. See, flow training is teaching people how to be able to get into that state of being. And to do that, we practice on building resiliency for stress. So this way, in other words, it's harder for things to bother us anymore. We seem to not mind little things that used to bother us, we can let it go now. And while it starts off with little things, eventually it gets to big things. Big things are happening that used to bother us, doesn't bother us anymore. We built a resiliency for it. Another thing is that we are able to let go of a lot of accumulated old emotions that were trapped inside of our bodies. And when we let go of those emotions, those emotions don't get triggered as easily anymore because they're gone or they're farther away, we have less of it. And when the environment and when people are not what it is that we prefer, we're still okay with it because it doesn't trigger those uncomfortable emotions. A lot of times people are not okay with things because it triggers our emotions and we get angry or we get upset. And then from there, from that state, now we wanna change things. Now we're not okay with things. But when we let go of these emotions that are inside the body, we don't get triggered. And even if something is not what we prefer, not what we would exactly want, but we're able to deal with it, it's okay. So flow training helps with that. And it does that by getting rid of the tension in the body. By getting the body to let go of tension, it also allows us to let go of the emotions that are stagnated and trapped inside the body in areas that we are tense. And so therefore when the body is loose, the tension is gone, the emotions can get let go and then from there, we teach our bodies how to stay in a calm and relaxed state as often as possible. 
so we don't accumulate any new emotions that are inside the body. When we don't have so much emotions inside the body, the body feels good. The body is at ease, the body is healthy because you have a better flow of blood, oxygen, and energy because there's no tension. And when our body feels good, we're in a better mood, our emotions naturally is much better. We don't have to have all of these different things in our life to make us feel happier. We naturally just feel at peace because simply because our body feels good. And then when our body feels good and we have positive and happy emotions, to have happy thoughts, to have a happy perception and point of view to everything that's around us. That just happens now naturally. See, it's like a chain reaction. And so, flow training helps with that. It helps change up the feeling in the body. It helps let go of the emotions. It helps build resiliency to stress. And it gets us in flow. Flow with nature, flow with environment, flow with others around us.